human energy and the human energy is having like it's like cyclonic energy of people that keep moving in these patterns i keep seeing energy mm. moving in patterns it's almost almost geometric i was just going to say that it's a little odd you know what i mean it's yes just, this plain odd so it makes me feel a little anxious I feel an anxiety, a, a high, high anxiety level in the space. Well, go ahead and launch right into the intro. We didn't say where we were, so. <laughs> okay, so <sighs> we are out here today in Vacaville, a wonderful little town. Um, has a perfectly great uh, rock shop um, nearby, Consolidated Rock and Mineral, that we go to frequently as um, spirit, just to restock our own supplies for our own needs and that of the team as well. Sometimes we give different crystals and stones to our clients. And so it was kind of a cool little coincidence that we would be in town um, for a case, so we got to stop at the rock shop prior to coming here. Did you just free plug? Yeah, I give them a plug. <laughs> I did because I really, I really love. I, I love, their, I love their selection. Yep. I love everything about them. The awesome. staff that works there, uh, really, really nice. Um, the gal uh, Lexi that always helps us, she's really sweet. I really like her. Um, so we just we get there anytime we can. It's just we don't have a lot of free time anymore. We all know that. <laughs> And um, so to come up here, you know, from Sacramento, it, sometimes it's, we just don't have the, the time for it. So we're just out here to help this really great family today, a uh, real fabulous group of folks and some cute little puppy dogs um, that they do have some paranormal activity that they've been experiencing. They have not given us very much information, which is how we like it. Um, we would like to document, validate, debunk if necessary, just figure out what's going on for this uh, great group of people because everybody just wants to have that peace of mind of is it just so-and-so or is it somebody that doesn't belong or are, are we are we making the spirits happy are they happy you know is, is everybody working in a good energy space together what I feel initially is just such a high vibration of anxiety in the space um, I feel like very keyed up and very um, I don't know. It's there's a level of jitteriness that I can't quite put my finger on. It's I don't know if it's the spirits or the living or the spirits and the living clashing together and causing like on these almost like these vortex like bits of energy. It's not an actual portal like per se. It's energy that seems to be clashing together and causing like almost an electrical current. Is how I feel about it. Um, but I do feel a at least one person in the house suffers from an anxiety disorder of some kind, um, like a real significant one, maybe like medication significant. And so some of that might be because of the paranormal and some might just be biochemistry in their, their body. They're biologically inclined to it. Um, so if we can calm the paranormal down, at least it'll be easier to manage the, the medical condition. That's my initial impression. So we'll uh, go do a little wandering, a little walking through the space, and um, see if we can't find an answer for these great folks, because they're really sweet. So I want to make sure they feel happy in their home. Sounds good. All right. You're worried and concerned. You're so cute, and you're fuzzy, and I like you. Why oh. that is. Um, we had a case, so... Do they get so. stuck in there? I don't know what happens. Sometimes they hide. It depends on, you know, yeah, some spirits hide times. from us. We had a case that we titled, There Really Is a Monster in the Closet. Yeah. <laughs> there was the kid, was the, saying, the kid was saying, I'm Mom, I'm seeing this at night, and I'm seeing this at night, and we open the closet, and she gets called Dirty Words, and there really is something in the closet. There we go. <laughs> it was real. It was all real. <laughs> I hear sounds in here. I hear, like, if you're, like, in there trying to, like, watch the TV, you like a shadow there something moving. There's something moving through here. There's something moving right through here. We're moving in this space. Oh, yeah. There's there's motion through here. There's there is distinct motion through this, like a hallway here. this space. This space. Bathroom feels quite boring. <laughs> it's always good. That's a plus. Yeah. Good. It's good. Boring bathrooms are good. There's nothing exciting in the bathroom. <laughs> there's a bedroom in here. I'm going around and around in circles. Um, okay, uh, my ears are ringing in here um, quite loudly. Um, and I feel a lot of neck pain in here. I feel um, 
lot of like back and neck pain. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of a lot of tightness. Hmm. Uh, I keep feeling like you would look out there and you'd almost get a glimmer of something. Like you get a moment of yeah, it. Yeah, I smell something back there. It's like what is that? What is that? What is like they're like something like walks through. It's almost like it's not totally conscious of the, the living people. This I don't know if this energy even comes in the house. I, it, it's like it follows a path. There's something that keeps following a track going that way. And I'm not quite sure what that is yet. Um, I feel a level of um, sadness in here. Like um loneliness and sadness and um, kind of I don't know what is that what is that feeling like for me? I feel um, escapism escapism they want to escape they want to escape they want to escape I don't know if this is a human energy or a dead energy um, but a desperate desire to just like I just can it be better? Can it be better? Can it be better? And this need to, like, I'm trying to build up, I'm trying to build up, I'm trying to fix things. I'm trying to fix myself, I'm trying to fix this, a lot of fixer energy um, in this space. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. You might want to, if you want to recap we, what we just had, happened, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that was kind of an intense experience for all of us, <laughs> um, to, to say the least. Um, so I felt a slightly older lady in there. Um, very protective, and she identified as a mother to, um, to one of the clients, and real nice, um, but her hands seemed a little achy, um, just joint, a lot of joint achiness. Um, almost feel like, though, that she probably, I can't quite catch my breath with her mm -hmm. too well, so... I think she definitely had some complications towards the end. Like um, congestive heart failure. So, yeah, something's something's wrong in here. Um, in her in her her like her breathing seemed a little labored to me. Did she have like an asthmatic issue or a breathing issue? Uh, okay. Because like, I'm feeling really constricted in here. Like I can't get she, um, COPD. No, oh, that's okay. what I said. Okay, she was, yeah. Oh, she was okay. okay. Yeah. Uh, um, because she really seems like she's just very protective, um, yeah. very loving, and... Um, she's watching over the daughter. Yeah, she's just watching the out for you guys. Once I got, once I got in, yeah, once yeah. I got in, I was like, oh my god, who's this woman? <laughs> real, real nice gal. Um, but uh, she's trying to cheer you on, because she says you feel like you've been set back a lot, and like you're trying to move forward and you keep feeling set back, you keep feeling set back like one, one step forward, seven steps backward. And she's like, I am, I am really, I'm here to support you. You're doing fine. Be patient with yourself. Be patient. Take your time. Stop stressing yourself out. You're a beautiful, beautiful soul. Stop. She's like lecturing you about it. <laughs> um, like prolifically. And so I just say what they tell me to, you know, Express um, and um, seemed like a pretty creative lady, though. Um, like she could, she could fix things, make things, do things. She, she seemed very, very creative. Um, so, and I think your daughter gets some of that. Like she likes to make or like pretty, like create pretty little either collages or like little things. Um, and maybe to some degree you too, like you guys have a very creative vein running through you. Uh, would, would you feel that that's... Um, maybe when I was younger. Yeah. When Grace, yeah, when my daughter was younger, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It seems, because it seems mom... Um, where are you taking me back to? Where are you taking me to? She keeps showing me all these seashells. She's showing me all kinds of seashells. That's kind of a pretty, sort of a pretty image. Like she was showing me all these seashells um, of varying sizes. So maybe you just need to take a vacation. <laughs> to the water, yeah. We, that's, we spread our ashes in the 
Oh. Oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, okay, thank you for the seashells, Mom. Good validation. That's a, yeah, that is a good validation. Um, no, I, uh, I'm glad that she's here. That's a good, that's a good bit of comfort um, that you have some protective energy in this space. Somebody who's kind of looking out for the, the greater good of everything. So we'll keep working with all the rest of the energy in the space. <laughs> Because um, there's a lot of it, and I keep <sighs> getting okay. drawn in like all these directions. I'm like, ah! <laughs> right. I can't keep track of it. But that that was just uh, palpable. Like I couldn't ignore that. When they yell at me that loud, I'm like, oh, <laughs> what am I gonna do now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> gonna do something with that dead person. Um, and and even if we bless the house, you know, loving protective energy, they're you know they stay. They don't go anywhere. They continue to protect and love because that's their their sole purpose and their job. So. Anything that doesn't fit in that dynamic will go. Hi, puppy. <laughs> we got one more room down here, and we have the garage. Okay, cool. Okay. I don't know if there's anything out there. Which room? The garage. Oh, yeah. The actual garage. Uh-oh. Uh, that doesn't seem right. Mm hmm. 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 Something seems weird above me. Standard rafters. Yeah, it doesn't seem quite right. I get a lot of pain right mm -hmm. here behind my ears. Yeah, what is that? It's like an almost in the lymph nodes. I'm getting like a pulling feeling, pulling sensation. It's not comfortable. I can't quite quantify what this is, but there's a male energy out here. Um, a very depressed male energy, very upset, almost angry, angry at life, angry at a lot of things. There's a lot of depression and anger that fills this particular space. So I'm not sure what that, why or what that is, but it feels very off balance out here. So, that, <laughs> well we might need to smudge some of that energy out of here because it doesn't quite feel right. It feels, um, there was contemplations of suicide in this, this space, if not actual attempt, but there was contemplation out here. Um, serious contemplation, thoughts of either like starting the car or or hanging, there was there was contemplation, there was ideation out here of some kind. Yeah, that's weird. That's not weird. To the right. You see shadows in here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. There's people that walk through here, a lot of people that walk through here. Um, Busy in here, actually. Very. To be, to be quite frank, it's a little busy in here. Not very restful. Yeah, like insomnia, more anxiety. Um, you're the source of the anxiety, right? This yes. is this is your yeah. I believe so. Yes. Yeah, it's because it's it vibrates, man. It vibrates, and you know it's and it's not your fault. It just is what it is. But you add on top of the fact that there's a lot of spirit activity. And you're almost like a sensitive, like you sense, you, you feel things like the intuitive, like you have an intuitive nature, because it's like they're attracted to you. And um, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a man that died, he's saying he overdosed. And it's attracted to, yeah, it's his. Hold on one second, hold on. Just give okay. it a minute to breathe. Give it, it's, it's a lot of intense energy. Okay, it's a lot. To, it's a lot to deal with. It's, um, he. Okay, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> Let's try some more. Okay. Yeah. Right? It's giving yep. me. It's yeah. giving me the tingles and the mm -hmm. chills. It's um. You're like a brother, like a brother. He says, like you guys were very close, and um. He he. No, and you see him too, don't you? Yes. And he just needs a little bit of love and help. Is he here? Um, this, his spirit is here. Is absolutely here. He 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 hangs around you because he he worries for you sometimes, and so he he tries to like take care of you. He's he's he has a worry, like a protective worry thing going on. Um. Okay, he goes. I got your back. Very, um, God, it's, it's, it's almost sibling-like, but I don't know if you're, I don't think you're, I don't know if you're actually biological, but there's a sibling-like energy about it, and it's this connectivity of being, like, you have you, a very you, special bond. Like, you would do anything for each other type of, um, not related to me. 
Okay, so but it's but you would act like if yeah. if you could have picked a brother. Like she's like a brother too. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah, because I don't. Brother I, from another mother. I didn't. Yeah, I didn't talk <laughs> biology, but I felt the the emotional bond is that real and that quantifiable. Um. You're bringing up stuff from a long time ago. That, that's my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> finding finding the weird stuff. Um, that is that is my my goal in life. But I, I think I buried a lot of that. You yeah. just brought up in me. I don't yeah. think I've even talked to anybody about that. Really? Well, There's no time on the other side. Yeah. yeah but if, 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 if they, they talk, to, if they yeah. talk to me, I, I just I deliver it. I'm like, I it. <laughs> and I know yeah. that it's it's intense um, to to reprocess some of that. But in a way, it can be cathartic and it can be healing. Like it can clear out some of the energy in your soul that causes some of this anxiety. We think that we've dealt with something, but all you've done is box it up and like put it in the corner and you haven't actually processed any of the, the loss or the pain. Um, and it continues to manifest damage in your life. It, it <clears throat> makes, it perpetuates through your life if you've not processed and dealt with something. Yeah. Um, but he is here and he does want to like give you support. So, you know, you can always connect. He doesn't feel like a negative spirit. He just feels like a concerned spirit. Overly concerned, worried about some stuff. Um, definitely worried about how you're dealing with your emotions and your anxieties, and like he worries because he really loves you. So he, he he's worried about that. Um, but he's he's also acknowledging that you come a long way. Like there are some things that you finally learned are stupid, <laughs> and you're like, all right, I got this, and like, and you've you've made some accomplishments. It's not that you haven't accomplished anything. You have, um, but he's just you know. He's being a little worry wart on the other side, so that's what the dead are for. <laughs> Ooh, that's an intense uh, it is certainly energy. Yeah. Anything else walking through here? You said there was a big There's a lot of I feel there's a lot of traffic. There's a lot of traffic. I just <laughs> they don't all come forward to me. Some of them it's weird. Like I'll see a whole sea of people, uh, but only one or two will actually come forward and say anything to me. And I don't control the other side. If I did, that would be just the coolest thing in the whole wide world. <laughs> like all we ever did, know, that, <laughs> if we controlled that, the that other side. Be, that would be fancy if I could do all that, but I can't. That's the way um, it works. Yeah, it's not the way it works at, at all. Mm -hmm. um, there seems to be an older gentleman with you that um, kind of a, a little stern and grouchy kind of guy, but he seems he seems to mean well. Um, but he seems very stern um, and just like kids are seen and not heard and like kind of a little grouchy. <laughs> but but I like him in a way that like he actually does have a really good heart deep down, very strong family values, traditional values, mm -hmm. um, traditional moral standards, almost Bible. Old healthy. school. <laughs> um, yeah, he's really intense in that way. But he seems to be your guardian. Mm. So um, you've got you've got that <laughs> wandering through the space. But again, I'm not concerned about him. Um, just, there's some sort of, it's almost like, it's almost like psychokinetic energy running through the space. Like, all the living energy is gluing itself together and creating, like, a, like a little PK manifestation thing going on. Where psychokinetic energy, we launch our own energy out of us. It disperses because we have energy within, that's, we're electrical beings. And we launch energy and therefore it glues itself together and becomes almost like a sentient entity. In the space, and I feel like there's a lot of human energy that is not well grounded. Um, I'll be, I think I sent you the grounding document. If I didn't, I will. <laughs> um, because I think that you guys, if you could practice some grounding and some aura protection, calm things down uh, a bit. I think that would it would help s just in general, um, spiritually, emotionally, all of that, being more grounded and centered would be really, really helpful. Hmm. Okay. Um, so I, I think that, uh, that would help. Be a probably a really good idea just to keep some of the energy balanced because this is, um, yeah, just it feels like Grand Central Station in here. Like, yeah, you, you get woke up in the middle of the night, you can't get rest in here. <laughs> like, like you're I like, sleep like the dead in here. She does, yeah. she sleeps yeah. like the dead. I don't sleep at all. Yeah, exactly. I would imagine you're you one, don't. You're the one getting hit with all of it, and you're, you're happy as a clam, right? <laughs> <laughs> and, which is fine. And, and, and then again, you do have you know, you have some protection, a little bubble. You're you believe, but you're not really a sensitive into it. Like, you're not yeah. into it. Yeah. And you're just like a beacon. 
Yeah. Hello, you're lighthouse. Freaking, you're a freaking lighthouse, and that's just like Jesus Christ. Like dead from down the street. You're like, oh, he looks interesting. <laughs> oh, hey, look, a lighthouse. Let's go visit. Yeah, let's go. Let's go visit him. He he seems like fun. Come visit our spirit. You know, like cool. they have to learn some boundaries. So oh, when God. we bless the house, that'll kind of push some of the energy back out, and it'll leave just your your dead that belong to you. And not, and not the whole neighborhood. Not the whole neighborhood of dead, because I really feel that they're attracted to like a lot of different things, and they're feeding off some different things that are going on. And you already have a proclivity to the anxiety, so. What else do you think they're feeding off of? Um, there's a little bit of arguing energy, a little bit of a little bit of um, that going on, but um, like a little di like disagreement energy that that's food for some of these spirits. And some of it, they just they just like you. They just simply like you. They're like, oh, he seems really like. A, you're so popular. You know, yeah. He is. Yeah, okay. you're like the like, like. You could go into any location, and start up a conversation with a living human. Like you could just instantly have a conversation with somebody. The dead see that and like that too. Like, ah. but then, it, but you don't know how to manage it, and like what to do with it. So you're just like, who's that thing right in your face? And you know, you wake up and you're like, you feel like somebody's like right next to you and it's startling is that something that you've experienced right. oh yes yeah. nightly daily right it's, okay it's, uh, you yes, touch him when he's asleep and he totally jumps uh, oh i bet it's, it's I crazy bet. it's yeah you're like yeah i'm biting back tears here you're hitting, <laughs> you're hitting nails on the head right here I mean, it's important yeah, and I, and it's I important no, information no you, came here. you did not you I'm just letting everybody out there know yeah. it was yeah. the, the it was the vaguest Better female ever <laughs> truly <laughs> it was I, I said come see us she said okay and they're here yeah and that's ex exactly you know and that's how i like it because that gives you the validation that you've been needing for a very long time that you're not crazy you're not making this up this is this is it's and happening to you. You're having this experience, and you just want a little bit of assistance with it. Yep. So there's going to have to be a whole plan in place for you to learn anxiety management techniques, meditation techniques, grounding. And I'll have some good crystals for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got some perfect none, none of this is anything that you, you could have researched in any way. Yeah. This is all experiential. Do you know so, how booked up we are, by the way? I know, right? We don't have time to do <laughs> I that. I have to let everyone out. I booked six months ago. Right? Yeah. Right? yeah you should have got on board before me. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, so we we are inundated. So all I have time to do is simply come out and help the people. We show up and... And do what we do. Yep. That That is our job. And we want people to love their space and to love their own energy and feel centered in their own space and energy. Um, and you guys deserve that. Absolutely. You guys absolutely need that. They're... There's no reason you should feel bombarded by spirits, but they, they don't, re they're not respecting your boundaries, and that's the problem. That is the problem. There's no portals. It's just, the, no. you're bringing in the dead from five streets to go they're over. They're following me from, <laughs> yeah. well, following me home from the store. Yeah. You know, go to the pharmacy and pick up some meds. The, you know, that'll show up there. You go up to the, the grocery store to get, you know. They're everywhere. Any, they're anywhere and everywhere. We're, we are just at one vibrational plane. Our molecules are vibrating here. Their molecules vibrate a little bit differently because there's no corporeal being anymore, but they can still be attracted to different vibrations. And mm -hmm. these spirits mm -hmm. are getting attracted to your vibration because you vibrate at a different frequency and you shine a little brighter molecularly. At the end so, of the day, they're still just people. Yeah, they, they still have their essence. They still have their spirit and their soul. And so that's where the science and spirit come together, you know, where we kind of blend everything as, as one whole picture. Um... They're, they're just really attracted to the space, but there's something in that garage that feels so angry. Yeah. That is where I feel the worst energy. Up here, I feel intensity. Like like I said, they're in your face. They're all up in your business. They, they like poke, personal they poke you a little bit. They, they annoy you. They come into your dreams. They give you nightmares. They <laughs> yes. jostle yes. you. Yes, 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 um, yes. They're very physical. Rude. Yeah, they're, they're not <laughs> respecting the boundaries, and that part is not okay. So we need to get them to understand that this is your space, not theirs. And uh, they can be moved on into whatever space they need to go to, if they need to go to the light, wherever they gotta go. But they can't hang out They here. can't just, they can't bombard you. They ain't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. <laughs> they a lot, you know, it's last, it's last call. You know, they cannot torment you in this way. They cannot be over intense like this because it's not, it's, it literally is like, so, I don't know if you believe in like chakras or you know that type of stuff, like the kind of the energy parts of the body. It's Eastern medicine. 
and there's the solar plexus, right around, kind of about, right above the belly button. And this is our personal power center, uh, they believe in, you know, in, uh, in that sort of school of thought. Energy comes out of here, and spirits often fish energy. So I don't know if you have a lot of digestive trouble or stomach trouble. Whoa. <laughs> um, but they seem to be... I don't know how you're picking this all up, really, I know. Well, I mean, yay, physical medium. That's your job. Because <laughs> <laughs> I can feel the discomfort. Mm -hmm. So I'm feeling like they are um, simply plugged in and drawing out all of your stuff. And so, therefore, you get a lot of tummy issues and pain. And um, we've got to close that down. The grounding and aura protection that I will be sending you will really help you master the yeah, control of that. A lot. So people won't be Absolutely. just get this down. ripping all your stuff out of your guts. It's, those are your guts, not theirs. <laughs> it's right. not their guts, and they're not their guts. Their guts are gone. <laughs> yeah, they can, they can just float somewhere else and leave his guts alone. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they, they just need to respect your boundaries. And I think that some of them think that you know what to do with them and what to do for them. And the spirits do get sometimes confused and they don't realize that, you know, this does not come with an instruction manual. So you're not at the point where you're comfortable trying to help them move on to the light, you know, do whatever they need to do. That's not where you're at. You're not open for business. Yeah. <laughs> you just need to take <laughs> care of you yeah. so you can feel better. Before you don't worry anything about the dead. Mm -hmm. That's so take where it's... care of your life. The kiddos. Oh, yeah. so good so girls. Do, so do my dog see all these people? Oh, yes. oh gosh, room? yes. Yes. Oh yeah. That, this is what this one barks at a lot. Huh. <laughs> I know we thought it was cats. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. It is, but it could be ghost cats. It's not. If they're looking up at the ceiling, going. Like, oh, neither of these dogs has barked once since we've been here. Except for <laughs> except for when we were uh, first, right, when he first coming in. Oh, yeah, Hi, baby. Yeah, they were just girl. greeting us. That's good how they greet. Girl. And so when they bark at nothing, who are they greeting? <laughs> <Right. laughs> oh, but they, they also seem like they give you an immense amount of comfort and peace. Like they're, they are your little tranquil beings that make your soul feel right. Mm -hmm. They're the good girls. Yeah, they are good girls. You're, you're the, the grounding center for him. So mm -hmm. you're the one that tries to mm -hmm. keep him planted. And then he starts to float off. And then you have to plant him. And it's this constant it is. come back down. Okay. It oh. And it's like a little roller coaster that goes on, but but there's also a lot of devotion. Um and like dedication. I feel a lot of dedicate like very very um dedicated. Why did that light just go? Yeah. I was just gonna say was I'm that wondering about anybody who leaned again. Well, I'm just gonna be like, I don't know, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> At this point, I don't know. Um, mm. But the, yeah, you're you're the counterbalance. You're the sort of source of reason and, and logic. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's that's a good rule for you to be in because you can keep things sort of even keeled. Try to. Yeah. yeah. Try it's, to. But you got a lot of different personalities and a lot of different energy and a lot of different. Goals and Needs ideas, and yeah. And you've you've got a lot of people in different stages of everything, mm -hmm. and it's like this perfect orchestra, and you just have to like sort of keep everyone on the right key, <laughs> right? And, and so that seems that, you have to be a fine musician. That's a lot of <laughs> pressure. It is, and so I I see that that kind of um, weighs heavy on your soul a lot. It does so, it does. Um, but you're doing great. <laughs> you know, you, you really... I excel at a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> you, you've never backed down from a challenge, no. uh, you know. And and it's you just want people to be who they are, but happy. Right. Yeah. That's me. You don't want to change anyone. You just want them to be the best version of themselves. Right. And so there's a lot of that going on in, in this space. Is you're just trying to nurture everybody's, whoever, wherever they're at. Um, what an interesting, interesting space. A lot of information in here. Mm -hmm. A lot of damn dead in here, too. A little bit too many. <laughs> well, we'll simmer them down. We can bring this back down to baseline. Um, yeah. You're definitely going to have to make some sort of negotiation that, as far as when the blessing has to occur. I have to bless every room. Even if it's to fling some holy water up in there. I don't... I, well, I don't. I don't need people to be a believer, but I cannot change. I cannot yeah. smudge the whole house and leave one room out. I'll tell you what can't. we could do is we could we could cleanse the whole house, leave them with some supplies, with the understanding that as soon as we leave, you do that run. Yeah, 
I mean, if that we would make him, that if that would make him feel more uh, comfortable, I'm, we can do that. Yeah, too. we can do that. Yeah. I think we can. We can get yes, into yes, 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 Two and a half minutes. Okay. okay. But I only, the problem is I do it in layers. I do the holy water that first, is the problem, and yeah. then I go do the burn bowl second. Right. So really, it's like he'll be out for thirty seconds one time. He'll be out for another thirty seconds another time. Really, that's all it is. Um, I just have to get into that space yeah, and clear the space. That would be better. That's all I need to do. Mom, Mom will convince him. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's all I have have to do because well, I don't. we had I thought we had had an understanding. Okay. I mean, I, and then. Eric came down and told me something different. Yeah. So I, I told him that you guys were coming and that, you know, he didn't want you in his room when he was not there. But Well, I understand. Well, that's that. understandable. Yeah. Yeah. Although I got to tell you, we're very uh, well respected and and government workers and, you know, so we're. <laughs> you go on the web, see who we are. Yeah, we, we, we were very well vetted. I mean, the Rad Show let us wander around their studio right. with right. all of their very expensive equipment. So, right. you know, we're yeah. the team that flipped Rob. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Mumbo yeah. and the jumbo. That's right. Yeah. He said it fairly. Like there's still a lot of things that he rolls his eyes at. Oh yeah. And that's okay. And I, I'm happy with that. But we gave. I would say that I think it's fair to say pause. that we gave him pause. You took the words out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can't explain that. Yeah. No. He's a. He's a wonderful man. He and sure a, is. And a real cool. Yeah. It, it's been a blessing to have the opportunity to reach so many more families and so many. Right. So many. You know. Awesome people, you yeah, know, awesome, like awesome. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love it when we get the real good maggots, you know. <laughs> so, the only kind of maggots there are. That's true. So you know, what's the name, Brian? Yeah, yeah. No, right. no, we don't have Brian to do it. <laughs> Wait, that's my son's. Yeah, or you're. Yeah. 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 So yeah, that's that's kind of the bottom line is that we just we're we're happy to be able to help so many more families, and that's what the show has permitted us to do is to reach out and assist so many more people. It just really speaks to me. Yeah. And I don't, I don't normally give two pills of beans about... You know, I'm the car guy in the group, yeah. <laughs> I used to be. What are we feeling? <coughs> Dust. <laughs> yeah, um... Somebody attached to the car. Okay. Um, there's actually a couple. There's a man and a woman, and they seem to be bickering about a lot of stuff. <laughs> they're, they're sitting there bitching and bickering at each other about something. Um, but it's like loving, like loving bickering. Where the hell did you get this car? <laughs> so that was from my ex. And he he restores those kinds of cars. Mm -hmm. I believe that car was a long distance race car. Huh. It has a Datsun motor. It's a Hillman, which is a oh okay, car. I know, I know exactly what that is. And, and but it has a Datsun motor in it, and a husband and wife used to oh, I believe shit. drive. Drive that car long yeah. distance in in road races. Wow. That's what I know. That's secondhand news. Wow. That's gonna creep me out for a few minutes. <laughs> yeah. Give me a second. Wait, it's, for sale. it's for sale. It's for sale. Oh my. Fifty nine Hillman. <laughs> yeah, anybody out there on Facebook land? If you like uh -huh. YouTube or you know Twitter, like the all show, things. we'll get a hold of you. Yeah. <laughs> if you right want, if you spirit, want this right? classic car. We'll help you get in touch with these clients yeah. and figure it out. But. Sweet. So there's oh, a yeah. Are they still bickering in that car? Yes. Uh, the, it might just be a residual like loop of energy. Like I just might be feeling the energy of them like, in, in just, there, like, like a, a record player. Like a record yeah. player. Okay. But I saw this couple in there, and they're just like, <laughs> like, 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 like this is like, what's arguing That's about awesome. out here? Probably which way to turn. Yeah. <laughs> I know where I'm going. Don't tell me where to go. Right. <laughs> this is where the course is supposed to be. Yeah. That's so weird. That was a pretty good catch. My That's life is funny. weird. Yeah. My weird. Life is, my life is always going to be weird. I, I, I just should get used to this by now. We can't get used to it because just, it gets weirder. That's true. <laughs> Lord, my life is a strange existence. Well, that is weird. The car drew me, so I... 
figured I had to. There's see. another one you saw it in the garage, garage yeah. right? There was another. I, you know, I, didn't look, I did not look at it as closely. It didn't, gonna, it didn't draw my. Come willing to come back in the garage? Yeah, sure. Yeah. So I'm looking at it. And maybe, yeah. maybe see what that negative is, or maybe it's coming from that car, or. Yeah. Happy to assume.